Today, we're going to create a screen flow. So the flow we're going to create is kind of a create a new lead that allows you to upload files. So depending on your page layouts, objects can have a lot of fields, which can overwhelm users who just want to create a record quickly. So we're going to build a flow to streamline lead creation. Um, when it runs, our flow collects what the user has inputted about a new lead and creates a lead record and lets the user upload files to the lead uh, record. So you can do this for account records, opportunities. You can really do this for any type of record where you want them to quickly input something. So it automatically creates uh, without them having to view a bunch of different fields. So let's get started. We're gonna click new flow. We're going to do our screen flow and we're going to click next. And then we're going to select free form. So from here, we're going to add a screen component. And we're going to relabel this as um, lead screen. And when you press tab, it'll automatically give you your API name. So one will want to add two fields to this. So we are going to add text fields. One will be a last name. Oops, that's not correct. Last name. And we want to make it required for the user to fill out. And then we also want to add company. So we're just adding the bare minimum, so company name and company name, and we're going to also make it required. And then we're going to click done, and our screen has been created. So now we want to add an element called create record. So by the user inputting into that screen, we want to create a lead record. So we're going to label it as create lead. Uh, we only want it to create one lead and we want to define the record fields. So for what we're going to do is we're going to find the object lead and we're going to set the values from the input. So when we go, we're going to find the last name. So on the lead record, we're taking the last name. So what the user has inputted so the screen component last name, we want to match it to the last name that's found typically on our record object. And we're going to also do the same for company name. So what we want to do is from that screen component that they have entered, so they've entered company name, we want to match it essentially to the field called company. And then we're going to click done. So from there, we want to add a second screen uh, so that they can upload any files as well. So we're going to name the screen component, component, oops, component screen. And then we're going to go and add the file components. I may have missed it. File upload. We want to name this. So we name this upload file. Then for the file upload name, we're going to name it uh, upload related files. And we want to allow multiple files for the user to upload multiple files. So we're going to set this to true. And then the related uh, record IT ID, we're going to call it lead ID from, from create um, lead. So essentially, it's going to pull the ID from when we created the lead uh, in the step before. And we are going to click done. What we want to do is we want to link all of these lovely 
components together. We're going to click save. Uh, we're gonna do this as new lead. We're gonna click save. And from there, we're going to activate. We're gonna activate our flow. Now we want to allow the users to input in our flow. So we're gonna go to our lead, uh, our home page, and we're gonna add in this flow. So we're gonna go to app, builder, lightning page, uh, lightning app builder. We are going to, we've already have a page created. We're gonna go and edit that page. So we'll click edit. And then we're gonna add our flow component. So we're gonna add the flow component to the side here. We're gonna select flow. And then from here, it's going to ask us which flow. So we're gonna do the new lead one. We're gonna click save because this, this home page is already activated for the whole uh, organization. It should show up. So we're gonna go to our home page. So we'll go to our sales. Our home, and you can see on our home page, here's the new lead. So we'll just put in my last name. Uh, we'll add a company name. We'll click next. And here's where we can drag or upload some files. So we'll just drag over a file, click done, finish. So now when we go to the lead, we should see the corresponding lead record. So I'd created one as a test before. That's why you see one already in there. It will only create one lead record. So if we go to our related, you'll see the file that we just uploaded, doc one. And within the details, you'll see the, uh, the name that was in, the last name that was inputted, as well as the company name. So that is how you create a screen flow to allow a user to create a new lead and upload files at the same time as creation. So hopefully you've liked this video and that's it for today.